What's up, up witches? witches? So we're going to talk today about ancestors and ancestor altars. Um, I know a lot of pagans um, and witches kind of get uptight and upset about, you know, can I work with my ancestors? Should I yeah. honor them on an altar? Um, if they're not pagan or if they were witches. Right. And we like personally that. believe that that's just not the case. You know, your ancestors are part of your bloodline they're part of your family whether you like them or not right and in death they have you know been released and they can see the truth and they really know um that this is okay you know it may not be for them or was not for them in life but they know that this is not going to hurt them so we're just going to take you through and give you some suggestions as to how to handle maybe Christian ancestors that you might be honoring mm -hmm. on your altar. Um, put things on there that are for them. They may not be for yeah, you, but they can be altar, it's theirs. for them. Uh, so like on the altar here, we have a little tiny Bible that belonged to my grandmother or our grandmother. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some holy water on here. Um, we will be putting a uh, silver cross on there uh, before sewing gets here. Um, you know, things like that that I may not necessarily use myself or believe right. in myself, but um, we're going to include because mm -hmm. it's for them yeah it's what it was part of their life right and that's what we're honoring as right well. what they liked um so while it's you know kind of always going to have this like autumnal spooky theme to it yeah, um it's just the season it's just the right Sabbath itself. you know so you're celebrating the season and them so you know it's going to kind of incorporate both so a good thing, you know, to put on there for an ancestor altar would be things that uh, your ancestors owned. Um, so there's some sewing supplies right there of my, our grandmother's. Mm -hmm. um, back in there is one of her bookmarks from uh, her many reading adventures. She's uh, really into reading books about just about everything. Um, some of her jewelry's out mm -hmm. here. Um, we have our great grandmother's antique cameo necklace. Um, our great grandfather's pocket knife. Uh -huh. And uh, there are some other items that we have underneath the table that we've put on um, that just mm -hmm. wouldn't fit up there. Um, so just things like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be nice. It doesn't have to like go with your theme. Uh, well, it shouldn't go with your theme. It's just. It needs to have their energy. Yeah. Even if you can find their handwriting, things like that, that would be great. Um, closer to Samhain, we're also going to go to the gravestones of our relatives that we um, can actually reach. And we are going to um, do a relief rubbing, you know, where you take the, the piece of paper and you rub over the tombstone to get the uh, impressions off of it. Uh, so we're going to do that uh, and include that in the altar. Um, you know, we're also going to talk about bringing some dirt from your ancestors' graves into your altar as well, uh, but that'll be in a different video. So we're going to take you in closer and show you some other items that are on here. So there's the cameo. The knife, the holy water. Um, right there is the Holly King who is rising. Uh, we have this little tree here which we wrote the names of the ancestors that we are all uh, offered. That we're honoring. Honoring. <laughs> um, there, I don't know if you can tell what that is, but that is a jar full of cicada shells, you know, that you find like hung on trees everywhere. 
uh, those can be used in lots of different spells that um, bring rebirth and change mm -hmm, resurgence things like that um, then over here there's uh, our grandmother's stuff and there's her picture uh, we got some black candles going um, a good idea that we came up with this year was to get these black um, uh, seven day candles uh, and we just actually wrote their name on the candle um, last year we tried using uh, a Santissima Muerte candle and mm -hmm. it did not exactly go over great I don't know if it was uh, the deity that we were honoring that night interfering um, well, but I wouldn't imagine that she would like that I, I don't think they cared for it uh, but here you can see um, this is just a little skeleton candle I don't light these I just think they're cute cute um, I got those from world market last year they do still have them this year so if you like those you can check those out then back here we've got some marigolds and back there in the back there's just like a wooden chalice with some pumpkins and pine cones and gourds um, and that is pretty much, oh, and then there, uh, we haven't got all of the offerings out yet, uh, but we do have a jar full of raw natural honey, uh, which we are actually going to infuse with some oils and some herbs, uh, later in the season. And then down here, just to kind of show you what we've got going on, we've got these little baskets full of autumnal things. Like this one has um, pine cones and acorns. Um, this one just has some herbs down in it. Um, there's our triple goddess that we stick everywhere. Um, <laughs> she goes everywhere. She does. There's a little cinnamon besom back in there. Um, this is just some leaves uh, here in Kentucky. Typically, at the beginning of October, there's really not a lot of fall color on mm -hmm. the leaves. So we do, unfortunately, have to incorporate some fake ones, which I don't like doing, but we do. Yeah, there, I mean, there's hardly any leaves. In yeah. It. So eventually, we will pick some real ones and replace those. And then I've just got these little... Um, antique jack-o'-lantern lights here mm -hmm. which we would light up for you but our camera lights are currently using their plug and then there's our little antique ghost thingy oh um, which i think some of our ancestors would quite enjoy love so um, of course one of them say she could paint better <laughs> so this um doesn't have to be the same for everybody. Um, mm. I think everybody's ancestor altar is going to look different. I would love to have the space to do a bigger one. Um, oh, yeah, think about what all we could set on it. I mean, we have so many things that we'd like to bring into it, but we just can't. Um, but we thought that we would share it with you all um, because it is important. You know, we do get into all of this fun, spooky stuff. The spookiness and the Halloween and all that. But, you know, this, you, is, what it's about. this is what you have to, to really focus on uh, when it's time to be serious. Um, so we will be talking more about ancestors later. Um, like I said in previous videos, we talked about we may be doing our version of a dumb supper. Um we are going to be going to the graveyard mm -hmm. to um, at least to talk to you about graveyards and working with ancestors there and mm -hmm. things like that. Good etiquette in graveyards. Mm -hmm. So all of that is coming up soon. Um, if you guys have any questions about ancestors or you know what we do with our ancestors, things like that, we definitely. Um, Love to hear your questions. We love hearing from you all. Yes. Uh, again, we just like to thank all of our new subscribers. We appreciate oh, everybody. We, yeah, I mean, it's just we've like, already, we get so excited. We've already made so many <laughs> new friends and stuff just from... Oh, yeah, this has been such an eye-opening experience. It has. We are so feeling so happy and blessed to have met all of these awesome people, you know, already just and from starting our channel. Too, so. If we haven't already. You know, definitely um, interact with us. We wanna, we wanna talk to you. So until we see you guys again, just remember, goddess is great, greater, greatest, the best.